Hi guys, thank you for joining me for another shave and send of the day. Today is Barrister and Man Week um, on BBS Live, so I'm gonna be doing some Barrister and Man today, and we're gonna we're gonna do my favorite Barrister and Man scent today, which is Le Grand Chipre. Really wonderful Chipre, um, rose, lime, peach, uh, bergamot, uh, some oak moss in there. Uh, patchouli, really, really nice sheep, bro. really nice and rich, um, a touch sweet, not overly sweet, not overly cologne-y, um, but it, you know, it is a cologne type scent, but it's not like, boom, I'm a man, <laughs> it's not like that kind of oak moss in there, um, really, really gender neutral scent, I think, you know, oak moss tends to kind of, um, uh, lean things a little more masculine, um, but I, I think that this would work regardless. Um, so that's my soap and I've got the matching splash to go with it. Um, and my scent to, to go on that note, I'm going to finish with Amouage Lyric Man, which shares the rose, lime, bergamot. Um, and there may be some patchouli in this as well. I can't remember, but anyway, we're going to, we're going rosy today. Weapon today is my... Wester Brothers Fraternity 33. Love this. Um, and I just had this redone by um, my buddy, Mike Schultz. And I haven't used this yet. And also, I don't remember if I had him mute, this, mute the tip or not. Um, and I tend to stab myself. So, I'm not sure. Maybe a bloody day. Maybe not. I guess Rose Red. Might as well have some blood in there. Uh, plus, my beautiful brush from Sawdust Creation Studio. Thank you, Bobby Moffat and Nate Burgermeister for selling this baby to me. Really, really wonderful, beautiful brush. Awesome V8 Fanchurian knot from Chisel and Hound. Okay, I've got some soaking water here that I'm going to get on my face. Man, I love that scent. Mm. And this obviously is a sheep rib, but it's not like a super rose. It's not like... Uh, grandma rose or anything like that. It's a really, really nice, fresh scent. The bergamot and the lime, I think, helped that out a lot. Okay, let's get loading. Hope everyone has had a nice weekend out there so far. It's uh, uh, kind of cloudy. Um, here in Maine today, but we had a beautiful day yesterday, like 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, windy, but enough to, you know, enough to keep you from getting too hot. I know 70 for a lot of you guys is, is cool, but for us, um, it's quite warm up here. And I've gotten, I've gotten used to the cool. I've been living here since um, 2002, I believe. Um, and I've gotten kind of used to the cool weather. Now, when I go back home to Tennessee, it like fries me. I can't handle the heat anymore. If you haven't tried this, the scent is so great on this. I've been meaning to get the EDT of this to go along with it, but I just haven't done it. But really, really great scent. All right, pasty knot here, so I think we're good. If you like the channel so far, uh, please like and subscribe if you would. And um, 
leave some comments. If you're new, please leave some comments and let me welcome you. Those that continually come back episode after episode, thank you so much. And if I ever start to bore you, please let me know why. And you know, I can't just showcase a new product every single time that I shave. Um, you know, I'm not made of money and um, it's hard to keep up with all the new stuff that's coming out and it's expensive to do that as well. I don't make any money off of this channel. Um, so I don't have anything to put back into it other than my daily job. Which is a dietitian, clinical dietitian at a local hospital for any of you that don't know or any of you that care. This Excelsior base will take a lot of water. And, you know, I mean, to me, I think it requires a nice bit of water to get the kind of slickness that it, that it can produce. I feel this one does not like to be under hydrated. I'm not saying it won't still provide a good shave because it will, but you just get a lot more out of it if you get it fully hydrated. You can see how that's getting real shiny there. That tells me that it's getting hydrated. I also like to see peaks on the brush fall over. So if I set it up and do this, I want to see the peak fall over, which you can see clearly there. See how it just kind of falls over? So I think we're in good shape there. water in my sink is really cool. I'm gonna get a little warmer water in. It's cool water. It's the neatest water you've ever seen. I'd show you, but I can't. It's secret. Hey, I may be dorky, but I'm dorky. All right. First time I've used this since being honed, rehoned, whatever you want to call it. Oh, stab myself. See if it's going to bleed. Yep. That's where I have to be careful. When you've got a spike point like that, you really need to be careful about the stretch. The stretch will keep you from doing that. Well, it's a good start. Glad to do that for you guys. I'm paying the rent. is much easier with a round point or a muted point. Um, 
you know, because when that, when that tip hits, it just kind of slides instead of digging in like that. And, you know, typically you're moving when it hits, so it doesn't just dig in, it digs in and pulls. We'll treat that. Good bleeder. Very smooth edge so far. Also, I don't know if you could tell, but I got a little sunburn on my face yesterday too. So I'm gonna go minimalist in this shave. I only have so much blood. No, I'm just afraid to go against the grain with, you know, when my skin's already irritated a little bit, you just ask him for trouble. Very nice edge so far. Spike point would teach you to be careful. Teach you to pay attention to what you're doing. Round point is a lot more forgiving. bump right there that I felt going over. I don't know if that's going to bleed or not. We shall see. No pulling, no tugging. It's a very nice smooth edge. This is with the grain down here. Yeah, there we go. Just a touch. Missed a little bit.
right, nice first pass. All right. Mm, scent is so nice. I really get the lime, some sweetness from the peach. Beauty. Some more alum on my fingers. Hey, buddy. Tired of watching the movie? I already am bleeding. Oh, yeah. Stabbed myself with the point right there, and it started to bleed. But I think I've seen doing some okay. spots. Yeah, I got a few of them. I'm not doing that wonderful today, but I'm giving it a try. I'm talking to my oldest Reed. Yeah, I saw those. Thank you. I don't know why they were hiding in there. I found them like all over in that. I think spot. they were in my toolbox and then they fell out when I opened it. Well, I don't know. They were like under the ground when I was digging, so. Oh, okay. They were under the ground, so they might have not been yours. Yeah, maybe not. I just found them sitting on the, sitting inside the ground. Oh, good job. But some of them were on top, so some of them could have been yours. Let's see.
One thing that is nice about the spike point is you can really get up around your nose really close without going against the grain. A couple bleeders, but not too bad so far. You always bleed on your face. Seems like it, doesn't it? Blade. I mean, you have to use the blade. You do have to use the blade. I can't cut it, cut my hair very well with the scales. Yeah, you can't cut your um, hair on your on your face without the um, what is it called again? Without the blade. That's right. All right. I think we've done a pretty good job. Let's see. So I think I'm going to get a touch it. more on my neck. Just the neck only. Okay. That's that beauty. Duh! That's giant. Mm hmm. Dad, they yuck. Now you have to wash your hands off in the water. Mm hmm. If I just said only your neck, and you're getting on your chin and your cheeks. Yeah, the soap ah. is really good for your skin, so I just put it on all of my skin. Okay. Why? Why do I feel like I see blood in there? Because uh, you do. <laughs> That's the reason why. All right. Oh, yeah, I forgot that 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 those shavers always have a blade in it. There we go. Much better. All right, I'm gonna call it good. A nice close shave, maybe not quite BBS, but that's okay. Break off with some cold water. Some alum. Alum. Why did you say alum? That's what it's called. I thought it's alum. It is potassium alum. And alum is aluminum. Alum? Mm-hmm. Alum.
little feedback there, but not much. Mm. All right, clean out my brush while the alum does its job. Yeah, now I can see the fire. Really wonderful brush. I like it. Got another brush that should be here tomorrow from Prometheus. Wait, is it for blue one? Very nice. Really nice two plus pass shave. Mm, the scent is so rich. So nice. Now hit it with a little Nivea cooling balm. Ah, very, very nice shave. And we're gonna finish with Amouage Lyric Man. The decan is from the Fragrance Decant Boutique, like all of mine. So no different, really great guys. Mm. It's a nice rose. Um, you know, it says Lyric Man, but I, I think it's very unisex. Um, you know, not womanly, not manly, just good. Mmm, that rose is really kicking in and the lime, really great. So is that little cut. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic week and uh, stay safe. See you on the next one.